Hi, Zachary Burns here, KDE JGR. I'm going to show you how uh, to wire a, a Waxon, uh, which is a sub $100 Chinese uh, 2 meter and a 440 HT. You can also get it as a 220 um, or 1.25 um, meter uh, radio. Uh, you can get those uh, pretty much $100 or so. I'll show you what they look like right here. And uh, the nice thing about these units are, you know, they're they're pretty durable. This one's great. It's got a uh, eight hour uh, plus battery life. It's not too thick. It's pretty reasonable. Uh, however, uh, a, a little more robust radio like the Yesu here. Uh, this one here, the battery life is horrible. It's it's pretty bad. Um, but uh, this one, you know, take camping, biking, whatever, you can pretty much toss it around. Now, uh, I purchased a uh, Signalink USB adapter, and this thing's great for doing digital modes, and uh, I like it. It's small, portable, only requires as much power um, is, is needed from a typical netbook or laptop. And you're given the option of purchasing a cable with this, and um, I, uh, I purchased it for an uh, FT, uh, a Yaesu FT8800, and uh, this plug plugs into the back of the Signalink, and this one plugs into the back of the Yesu, which is uh, right there. I'm using that as my um, as my uh, rig here, hooked up to a computer. Uh, so that's kind of uh, what I'm doing. And uh, you know, it's nice to t be able to take this HT on the road with you. And uh, you know, I didn't want to have to crack this open. And you have to change the jumper cables. And mine are currently set for the HT. And I'll show you what that looks like here. What I pretty much did was uh, leave the uh, signal link configured for this and then just came up with a mapping and created a new uh, a new cable here for the Waxon which uses the Kenwood style uh, plugs which has got a speaker jack, a push to talk, a um, microphone, ground, and uh, uh, another one there which I don't think is used. And uh, pretty much just came up with a, an end figured out the mappings that would work with the current jumpers inside the signal link and uh, it works great and uh, just plugs into the back of the USB there and uh, it's going into the MacBook uh, mini over there and um, works pretty well in fact I can show you how well it works um, we're actually on 145505 uh, and we'll just send a test message here This is a test, and we'll go ahead and transmit it here in a second. And just to show you, I'm using a uh, Yesu, um, and it's set here to receive on 145505. And we'll just have it sit in front of the MacBook here, and we'll let the MacBook uh, decode it. So uh, let's see how this does. Push transmit. And the Waxon's kicking in. Waxon turned off. And here's our message. This is a test. KDHAGR. Works great. Uh, the reason I did this was um, pretty much convenience. You know, these are a lot easier in, uh, in bad weather conditions to carry around then actually open a signal link uh, at uh, your remote site and uh, move the jumpers around which can kind of be a pain so uh, so that's why I uh, built a couple cables and did it that way because typically you're going to have to wire your HT as shown here and the reason I didn't want to do that was it limits me then every time I want to plug it back the signal link back into my base rig I'm going to have to uh, change the jumpers and, and go through that configuration. So, so this setup works well for me. And uh, if you need any help uh, doing some of the mappings yourself, let me know. And 73 is from Zach, KDHAGR. See you next time.